All right, so here's an update. After doing the first wash, I washed with my usual herbal essences shampoo and conditioner. And um, if you can see, the pink is pretty much all gone with the one wash. Single wash, no more pink. If you see a little bit of pink throughout, that's all pretty much the roots from the Arctic Fox, Violet Dreams, and Girls Night Make Sure I did a few videos ago. That is not the pink from what I did with uh, Strawberry Leopard. Now, one thing that I'm kind of pleasantly surprised about is if I can get a strand, the mint's color is actually still there. I thought that would be the first one to fade, but nope. It was the pink. That was that was a shock, and this is a pleasant surprise. It's very much like sil on the silver side, but it's definitely still got that mint hue to it, and I love it. Whereas this whole top section that I did purple to pink is pretty much just white silver. The made you blush pink is just not the longest lasting evidently. Anyway, I'm going to update every time I wash my hair until this is mostly faded. So uh, yeah, keep watching to see how it fades and I'm just gonna do maybe like a little montage. <laughs> I'm not washing it today, it's wet to the ponytail. Uh, right now, we've got my ends, which are all like a silvery blue. We've got this top half with this like yellow blonde. We've got this section where I had put the, the lilac glow over the faded Arctic Fox Violet Dream, which this, all my roots had Violet Dream, so it's definitely not from that. 
It's gotta be from the Strawberry Leopard Lilac Glow because this is the only section where my roots are like dingy. They're like green. And there's only one way I can figure that happened. It must be, it must have been like a blue based purple and Violet Dream is like a pink based purple and that's why all my roots was still pink. But this is wanting to turn what I think is like, it's turning back to blue. But because you can see my roots under here are like yellow, once again, blue plus yellow equals green. So that's why that. That's the only thing I can figure. I think my plan at this point is to go buy some quick blue at Sally's and just hit up everywhere from my very base roots all the way to where the yellow ends. I'm definitely going to avoid this. And I think like pretty much all my hair is blue and silver, but I think it's because I've been using the vanilla and the yellow. I was kind of like hoping that would help this situation, but all this yellow up here is still there. We're just left with blue and silver down here. And I think as long as I stop using the vanilla and the yellow, I think most of this will fade. There's still definitely some blue hanging on. So the blue is definitely the longest lasting of the three that I tried in my last video. So this is what it looks like after bleaching. I only bleached it from here to here, like the first four-ish, four to five inches. Just the part that was like still like yellow, I avoided my ends, of course. I don't think they could handle it so far. Feeling kind of brittle, there's definitely some breakage. You know, you can't, bleaching your hair so many times doesn't come without a price, like make no mistake. You see all this? Look, just, That's the price I pay. I think that's the last update I'm gonna do as far as the fading process of the Strawberry Leopard. The blue was a pain to get out. That took forever. My roots are still, like where it was black, where my roots had grown out, you can see it's still just like slightly orangey, like you can see the difference. So I may go over them once more, just down here though, not anywhere else just to get them to the same level as everything else before I color my hair again. I will be babying it very much after that. Um, so stay tuned if you wanna see what I'm gonna do next week. I will be using two new shades from Strawberry Leopard, so it's gonna be interesting. We'll see, but I need to wrap this video up so I can get it edited and ready to post on Friday. So if you enjoyed this, please leave a like and subscribe. I upload every Friday and I try to do a vlog every week. Those usually are going to be coming out on Wednesdays. I just started that. Nobody really watches the vlogs, but uh, I don't care. <laughs> I'm going to keep doing it if I feel like doing it. And I'm going to stop if I don't feel like doing it anymore. I appreciate it so, so much. And I will see you in the next one. Peace, love, God bless.